Hello everyone, Squam's Ghost here, and welcome back to Morrowind. Stun falls on, um, Balmor, as we have just left the Fighter's Guild, and we'll exit down the stairs to our right. Just a quick fun fact I thought I'd read at the beginning of each episode, um, the month of Morningstar is missing from Morrowind, presumably by accident. It was in Elder Scrolls Arena and Daggerfall, and also Oblivion and Skyrim, but for some reason it's missing here, which makes it kind of interesting. So continuing on our game, we just completed the Cave Rat quest, so I thought we'd come out and see how the night would look here with this new mod as the sun sets below us. It actually looks very amazing. And we'll go inside and see if we can get another quest from Edith. You're here for orders or advancement, associate? Or was there something else you wanted? Well, I'll ask about advancements since I just completed the last quest. The Fighter Guild recognize you, Ramolos. You are now Ramolos the Apprentice. Thank you, Edith. Do you have any orders for me? A local egg mine has problem with egg poachers, and you're going to solve those problems. Alright, what's the egg poachers? Yes, egg poachers may sound silly, but those Kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Dram Barrow, the owner of the Shark Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, the Velo Odin, and Dinilla Valas, are former egg miners and longtime troublemakers. You can handle that, can you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Alright, so we have a contract to now go from killing rats to people. So I'm going to ask where this mine is. The mine is a short distance southwest of Balmora, in the bluffs west of the Odai River. The old suspension bridge across from the Odai is just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora, and you'll see the bridge overhead. Uh, overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? No, I'm not, but thank you. This is one thing that Morrowind has that other games didn't. I remember in Oblivion, the first game that I really played through on Elder Scrolls, they gave you a uh, map marker so then you know where exactly to go. But here, in Morrowind, we just have where we went, Sedanine, Pelagrad, which was marked, I think, by the um, ranger that we met in the first tavern, and then Balmora, which is here. We don't have any map markers showing where the egg mine is, so we have to rely solely on directions from the NPCs, which will make it a little harder to find, yes, but we'll have to trek our areas along more without having to fast travel and know exactly where we're going, but it also puts more fun and realism in it. So we'll continue on, exit out of here, see the nighttime sky in Night in Balmore. And I'm just going to check my inventory. I have 103 gold. So, I'm going to see if I can buy those boots now. And I cannot since it is, um, nighttime. I'm going to go back in the Fighters Guild and try and get some rest till the next day. I'm assuming there's a bed here for me? No 
Okay, so it's now 2 a.m. So we'll rest till. Nine AM and then get up and go to the um we'll head now to the armor to see what we can do. at your goods. So Chin Chin Boots is I uh, will take one. I'll take a left pauldron and a right one. And that's gonna cost fifty one, I'll give you fifty five. Yeah, and I believe the rest is just medium and heavy armor. Well, except for the net, but I've always liked the chitin armor a little better. And we will put these items on. Because I changed the um, screen back to 1080, I just got to make a few adjustments before we carry on. Oh good, okay. So I got to put the boots, pauldron, pauldron. It looks kind of silly over the robe like that, but I said that's what my character looks like without the robe on. And actually, before we do anything else, I'll see if there's a shield that I can buy. This is a tower shield. Helm. I will see if there's one that at least matches my inventory before I go out and get one of those. So I'll talk to Clendo. Greetings citizens, I'm Clendo. Welcome to Balmore, where house half Lalu town and loyal citizen of the Empire. What can I do for you? Can I take a look at your wares? First I would like to sell maybe my dagger. See, you don't have any clothes, so I can't sell those. And I'll see what I can buy from you. Is a uh, short sword? What one do I have? Iron short sword. Chop two to six, four to fourteen. Start six to sixteen. This one seems actually better than. Where is it? Thrust is better than this. Six 
say, but it's long blade. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll buy this one. And I'll sell my iron short sword. Okay, so we only took... See if I can go down to 55 or 51. Oh good, he took it. Awesome. So, I kind of saved on that a little bit. I have a better sword. Since I'm around here, I'll go to the pawnbrokers, pawn brokers, see if I can sell anything. Romalo Surrenderies, you look like you have something on your mind. I do. Do you have a little advice? Outlander's new in Vardenfell do base in Balmora. House Salalu's Imperial through and through, and you can get good, a good mix of native and imperial people and services. Not as friendly to Outlanders up north in House Veteran country, or down in Big Vivek City, and definitely not friendly out east with the Telavani wizard. Shop the Outfitters, then check out the guild for work. If you want to be adopted by a Grey House, you'll need a patron. And that's easier when you've got a reputation. Do you have any... do you know any rumors? I've been told the Empire has granted a new charter to do mining on the Isle of Solstheim. Why would anyone want to go there is beyond me. Okay. Do you have any secrets you can tell me? To share? Okay, we already knew this. Someone attacked you first, you have the right to defend yourself. Just like in any other Elder Scrolls game. Um, I would actually like to sell some of my stuff, like my shoes. Bread. I think that's all I can sell. Alright, well, thank you. So, looking at my journal... We know about the egg mine. But I'm gonna look at the, um... Look for the rumor about the Legion. Oh. There's a rumor that the Legion champion Lars Vara over at Fort Moomont wants to talk to me about an unspecified subject. I'm gonna see if where Fort Moomont is. Oh, I'll ask this guy. Hello, Amala Trendries. I'm Glutus, and this is Balmore. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, perfect. I can ask him. Fort Mumoth, where is it? Fort Mumoth is the Imperial Legion's garrison southeast of Balmor, just outside of town. General Larius Varro is the co commandant, and Rad Hardhart is the chapter steward. The chapter steward is the fellow to talk to if you were thinking of enlisting. Kulis Hontinian, an enchanter, is the Imperial agent. Between the Imperial Legion and Imper Imperial Call Staff, they have about a dozen service providers out there. Oh, awesome. So, what do you do, Glutus? I'm Glutus, agent of agents of the Imperial Legion. Oh, okay, yep. So, I ran into you. And... Do you have any rumors to tell me? 
I've heard there have been some trouble up in Fort Fort Marsh. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Salt Farm, North of Ireland. Okay, I've already heard of that rumor, but thank you for sharing. Any advice you can give me, since you're an Imperial agent? Be smart. Join the Guild Honor Among Thieves, right? You're new here. Don't know your way around. Getting a little trouble. A lot of trouble. More likely. Oh, you'll learn. Fast enough, I guess. But get gold on your head. And things get tougher. The guild will steer you straight towards the swift and away from the sour. And the regular guild. Discounts on your training and services and everything. Do yourself a favor. Start easy with friends. Then later you want to freelance. Fine. Can you tell me a secret? If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack them. Alright, we knew that. So, thank you, Galutis. I'm going to go actually check out the fort since somebody is looking for me over there. And this is another thing about the mod here. Is that they, the city doors, they're here without, they haven't been here in the vanilla game. So you can come and go as you please, but it kind of adds on more realistic aspect to like medieval cities having gate to protect it. Before you could just walk in, which meant like maybe a whole bunch of evil people could just walk in and start stacking the city or whatever. So that puts on a nice touch to the city having a main gate. So am I heading the right way? Uh, oh, okay. So that there I am, I'm facing this way. Okay, I'm heading the... Yeah, okay. Heading the right way. I know you really can't tell on the bottom right hand corner that I have like a little mini map but my icon covering it over. Which is why I'm trying to also pull out the big map too, so you can see where exactly I'm heading and stuff. So this is also a nice new touch with the mod. The signs are easier to read. Before it was in like... I don't know what they call their language. The Dunmer language, I guess? Or Elvish. There's an Elvish writing. <laughs> and then now you can just... It would tell you the name still like a, of this city or destination above it just like it does there but it would be an elfish but now you can just read it from a distance without having to walk all the way up to it is that not the right way in I'm gonna pick up some ingredients on the way. Yep, just like a fort should have. This has a door too, which wasn't here before, and I like the, um, not sure if this was here, the, um, the gate up there. But as I said, it gives the kind of feel that you actually have a defense towards it because I believe all the towns and cities and forts had big wide open entrances where just anyone could walk in. So here we are with some legionnaires. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Move along. Do you know any rumors? Okay, so I already knew that, thank you. 
Okay, so a little advice. If you're heading in the back country, always carry a couple of restore health, restore fatigue, cure disease, and cure blight potion with you. As I mentioned before, like it's much easier in this game to catch diseases and get sick and stuff, and people react to you that way more so than in like Oblivion and Skyrim. So it's always important to stock up, and unfortunately, I don't have a lot of money, so I just need to save a little bit and get some more. Talk to everyone. Talk is cheap. Ask questions. You don't ask, you'll never learn. So the person I'm looking for here is Lars Varro. Okay, let's need to know where to find him. I'm guessing this is it right here in Leicester for Toby. See what this building is. Okay, that's a prison. He's definitely not in prison. thing red oh they said he was the uh, steward I believe Mari Charian I don't know you what do you want yeah see if they don't know you sometimes they'll be a little ruder so I'll see if I can re get some potions maybe even though I only had 14 gold, but we'll see if I can afford anything. Maybe some restore. Yeah, no, I don't have enough yet. Alright, goodbye. Paragon. Yeah, it looks like they're all going to be a little mean until, like, I join their Imperial Legion or something. Oh, good. Maybe I can buy the three store hell. No, because I remember I need to hold down shift and then pick one. All right, good. I'm looking for Laris. I don't think that was the right way. <laughs> I'm just assuming he's around here in this area since everyone else seems to be. Oh, there he is, Laris. I'm Laris Fire, Legion Champion of Fort Moonmark. I've been hoping you might come by. I've got some work for you if you're interested. Sure, I'm interested in making money. What can I do? But where can I press it? I guess I'll press latest rumors. I've heard... Okay, so I already know that. Little, little advice. If you were to ask me for the model of a warrior, I'd have to say Miles Glorious. He's at Andy's Trade House in Mar. Gone right now. On a crusade to kill off all the monsters sneaking through the ghost tent. But he always has time to talk with an admirer. You know any secrets? Daedra. You know what they are, right? Well, Daedra Shrines are where Daedra Cult worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. 
Why? Because data are nasty and the folk that worship them are even nastier. So who are the bad people? Oh, the bad people are the common tongue. I thought everybody knew that. They are a criminal organization. Unfortunately, I don't know who the common tongue are. No one will tell me. Because I am an officer, and it's against the code to tell officers things. But people in the Thieves Guild hate the common tongue. I bet you, if you ask the Thieves Guild, they would carefully tell you who the bad, cheerfully tell you who the bad people are and where to find them. Alright, so, the last Thieves Guild. In the Empire, the Thieves Guild is old and powerful, but here and more when the Thieves Guild is young and weak. The old and powerful criminal guild of Morrowind is the Common Tongue. The Common Tongue doesn't like the Thieves Guild a lot, and the feeling is mutual. So, what's your background? I'm Lars Var, warrior and champion of the Imperial Legion. What's your trade? I'm a warrior by trade. I know how to fight when necessary. But I much rather look so tough that critters give up or run away when they see me. Personally, I favor long blades of all kinds. They use long blades of many different styles and craftsmanships here in Morrowind, and I wear medium armor for a decent balance of protection and mobility. But I train with various weapon types and armor types, and like any good warrior, I'm my own armor. Don't want to fight with more th with one weapon and one armor. That's true. So let's see if the journal picked up anything from what he said. Yes, it's just about... Okay, finally it, um... Showed up. Yes, it's just about the work I mentioned. Through various channels, I've learned a bit of your situation. I'd like to tell you a little story, and when I'm done, you can ask me some questions, and then maybe you might decide to go out and do some things you might... and you might not. That's your affair. And I also want to tell you about a nice person I've think the Emperor wants you to have. I'm not sure where it is, but maybe you'll want to check back and see if I found it later after you have done some things. Oh, nice present, not person. Okay, so what's the little story? Once upon a time, there's a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines of criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it. Because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends and proof is not as powerful as important friends. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought the laws made people happy and safe. And it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good. Because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quick as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, What can I do? Because the bad magistrate has important friends, and nothing I can do will touch him. But then the good officer said, Wait a minute. What about the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends. If they aren't around, then the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. And even better, the good officer suspected that the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided that it would be good if the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate could go away forever. So the good officer made a little special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the bad people away. Isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story, but it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath. But maybe the story isn't over yet. Wow. 
that is uh, really something. He wishes for people to go away while he's supposed to be upholding the law and with in the bloodbath. So let me just double check. Maybe the bad people are already who I thought they were. But yep, he already asked about that. So let's ask about the bloodbath then. Okay, there we go. The bad people in my story are the five members of the Comatong. I know they are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith, and that they are here in Balmore. Unfortunately, I don't know their names, but maybe that you can find their names and where to find them. And then maybe my story could have a happy ending with a little bloodbath instead of a little prayer. Here's what I'm thinking. I love the law. I love the Empire. I love the people I try very hard to keep safe. But sometimes, no matter how hard we try, they keep the peace. Sometimes there's going to be blood. I think you know what I'm talking about. That's why I asked you to do this bit of work if you're willing. I'm very willing. Okay, and I already... Talk to him about that. What about the nice present? What is the nice present from the Emperor? I'm sure I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a surprise. And as I said, I'm not sure where it is. But I might find it. Anytime. So check back and see if I found it later after you've done some work. Alright. So he's not going to tell me anything. And I guess I got to go kill these people to get whatever prize it is. Let's see what the journal says. The Legion Champion Lars Faro at Fort Moonmoth told me a little story. He didn't come out and say it, but he suggests that some bad people are bribing a bad magistrate to fix sentences and crimes for criminals. The General also suggests making these bad people go away might require a bloodbath. I think he wants me to provide the bloodbath. The bad people that Lars Faro wants to go away are five members of the Komonatong. Varus Varo doesn't know their names, but he knows they are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith. And that they are in Balmore. It seems that Varo wants me to find the names of these pe bad people and make them go away in a bloodbath. Larius Varo says he has a nice present from the Emperor. He says it's supposed to be a surprise. He doesn't know where it is. But that I should check back to see later to see if it, he has found it after I've done some things. Sounds like he has some sort of payment for me to make if I make the bad people go away. Yes? And with that, we'll head over to the, um, I believe he said the Thieves Guild, which is in the South Wall Corner Club, and ask them about these people and follow up on the leads on them. And then maybe come one step closer to getting the present. So I'll either cut it here or I will have us walk all the way back to the Corner Club. I may just have us just go there, which will be a few minutes for me, a second for you, so we'll see. Alright, and we are back just outside of the South Wall Corner Club. We'll go on inside and talk to some of the patrons about the, um, 
about the other group that they dislike, and it's the, um, the name of it. The Kamona Tong. So, first I'll talk to Solid Solitied. What? I'm gonna ask you about bad people. Bad people, what do you mean? The Kimona Tong? I don't know about that, understand? I don't want to know about that. None of my business. I stay out of the council club. Arthur. Let's see. Let me ask you about the bad people. Do you know anything? Okay, he's saying the same thing. How about you, sugar lips? Habasi? Um. Maybe later, but what I'd like to know is about the bad people. Okay, concerning this, I only speak to a friend. I wonder if I have to join the Thieves Guild to be able to speak to him. You look like you may have some skill. You want to join, or maybe you want to know what we're all about. Okay, let me hear the rules. Just remember there is honor among thieves. Do not steal from a brother thief. Everyone else is a mark. Do not attack a brother thief. Do what you will to everyone else. If you have a price on your head, we have ways of taking care of it. If you break these rules, you must speak with one of the masterminds here in Morrowind to regain your good standing. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I think so. You are now a toad in the Thieves Guild. Welcome, brother. Romalos of Vendaris. Talk to me when you want some odd jobs to do and when you think you're ready for advancement. If you have a price on your head, there are those you can talk to as well. Okay, so what about price on my head, just so I have that information in case if I do something wrong. If there's a price on your head, there are a few people who can make it go away. In Balmora, talk to Plain Real. In Alderun, it's t Tongue Toad. In Satterith Moor, it's a Resina. And if you should speak to Crazy Legs or an Mato in Rivek. They're the people who can take care of those nasty bounties for a price. Alright, so I'll still be paying money, but that's okay. So, can you now tell me about the bad people? If the bad people you're looking for are the Kimona Tong, and they're in Balmora, You'll find them at the Council Club Corner Club. That's the local Kimona Tong hangout. The scout would be Vedusa, Sathrion, Masara Eren would be the pawnbroker, the thief would be Midrail, Thrith, Savor, Trendrell is the Savin. In Thaclean Valis would be the Smith. All right, thank you for the information. And do you have any? Well, I'll come back later for some jobs to do. But I already have two jobs: one in the Fighters Guild and one doing this. After I complete this, I'll come back and ask for some jobs. All right, everyone. Now that we established our targets. I'm going to call it an episode. I do hope you have enjoyed this game so far with me. I know it's going at a pretty slow pace, but I'm trying to keep them within watchable limits. So in the next episode, we will either be going over to the Council Corner Club or we'll be going to the Egg Mine. Because I don't really want to rush into one of those, which may be too, like... Hard to do at my level. Maybe I will go to the egg mine first. But we'll see. Well, until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye.